I often talk about layering to create um, depth and texture. And that's what I'm doing here. As you can see, the squirrel already has a layer of fur on. I'm going to go back over it and deepen the values, which means I'm going to make it darker. And this also helps to add interest and density to the fur. Now I'm really paying attention to the direction that the fur grows. Since I've already put in the initial layer, it's really not difficult for me to know which direction they're growing. Now you always want to watch the grain because when your skew hits the grain, it's going to sink in a lot deeper than if you are going across the grain. Anytime you're in line with the grain, the, grain it, the pen will sink right in there, and it's real easy for the wood to take control. So be aware of that. Whenever, when you're doing fur or feathers, when you hit that grain line, watch your pen or ease off or go a little bit faster because the wood will try and take over for your pen, and all of a sudden you'll end up with a burn that's not where you wanted it to be or a burn that's darker than you anticipated. Another consideration as you're working here is to keep your strokes uh, the right length. Now I know nobody who's watching this would ever consider cheating by making really long strokes and thinking nobody can tell the difference. But just in case, I'm going to let you guys know, if the fur is short, make the strokes short. If the fur, fur is long, you can get away with longer strokes. Don't think that making a really long stroke, anybody's going to be fooled. They're not. Okay? So just don't do it. Also, if you have whiskers, try and avoid doing the burns over the white areas. I don't know if you can see in there. There are some little white areas in here where the whiskers are, right here and right here, where they're going. I've left that area unburned so that it appears that there's a whisker there. Take your time as you're doing this and build your values slowly. Slow your pen down to get a darker burn and then speed it up in areas where you don't want it to go that dark. The difference in the speed will make for variation in the heat. So in other words, you go faster, you're going to have a lighter burn. You go slower and it's much darker. So you can adjust on the fly like that. Pay attention to your directions and take your time so you end up with high quality um, artwork at the end. Okay, the pen I am using is called Skew. It's just a blade. I like to use a rounded skew so that there, so that I have a good range of motion and I never get stuck on the wood because I have no edges. I am using this pen mostly perpendicular to create very fine fur like I have here. I don't have my pen on right now. I just wanted to show you guys what I was doing. So um, even though, I guess you guys are looking at it from the side, it appears that I've got my pen like this. I don't. I'm using it almost perpendicular so that I so that I get a nice fine line. As you turn your pen like this, you will thicken the line because more of the metal comes in contact with the wood. So for doing fine fur like I showed you here, you want to keep your pen pretty perpendicular to the wood.